What's up? Welcome to your daily sweat. It's your boy Chris again. Today I have my friend, the coach, the beast, She Hawk. We call her Shanice. That's actually her real name. We don't call you that. That that's your real name, Shanice. Um, but hey, we're gonna live up to the expectation. I love the way she spells her name, She Nice, right? So yeah, we about to get after it. today. You click play on a D25, which means we got to get in and we got to get out. This is an intense workout, so it doesn't mean it's going to be easy. So you only have a lim lim eh, limited amount of mind. I can't even get it out. I can't even get it out. A limited amount of time. As you can see, I drank a chai tea latte before this, so I'm, I'm hyped. But let's go ahead and get right into our warm-up. Nice, if we can go with some quad pulls. So for 30 seconds, I want you to do some uh, big quad pulls, pulling those quadriceps out, lengthening those muscle groups out. Today's workout is a full body workout, all right? You're gonna, ha you're gonna need those quads, right? At the same time, we need to make sure they're firing off correctly and they're not, they're not cold and stiff. So it's really important that we get some good quad pulls. Uh, in five seconds, Nisa's nice, going to some high knee pulls in four, three, two, one, and she goes right into the high knee pulls. Now we lengthen the quadriceps. Now we need to do the same thing with the hamstring and the glute muscle. Um, now. By any means, guys, if you have the flexibility and time, you can always do some extended stretching before you even press the play button. You always know that the next three to five minutes of every D25 workout, we start with some dynamic movement and stretches, but you don't have to only depend on that. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. And Nisa, nice, let's get these hips a little bit. Pull on up to the side. Oh, this is like my favorite stretch. You like that one? This stretch as of late uh, has been the game changer for me. I personally been trying to run a little bit. So... In doing this, it's one of those movements that it gets the groin, especially hips. And typically when you're not overcompensating in the groin, hip flexor area, and your hips are not too tight, that means your back won't spasm as much. So this is the game changer for me. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two. Let's get into some good old Spider-Man. So back knee goes on the ground. She's gonna lean in with those hips. So this movement is really, really good for the hip flexor area. Uh, niece, if you could turn sideways for him a little bit. Yeah, right there. Perfect. So as you can see, she's not just standing upright. She's leaning in every single time. Uh, she can kind of catch her breath if it's too much uh, of, a, of a pull for her. She can always kind of bring your hips back and just relax and then get back in. If you have the flexibility, maybe you've been doing this, you can bring your hands vertically up and do the same movement so it's a little bit more intense. But let's stay there for another seven seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and perfect. Let's switch sides. All right, get your mind ready, guys. We have a little bit more stretching we're going to do, going to our upper body, and then I'm going to explain the workout, and then it goes down. It, it, it goes down. You know what? We said intense. It might not be that bad. It might not be that bad. It might not be that, it might not be that bad. All right, go ahead and relax. Nisa, if you can stand to your feet. Hey, guys, real quick, I want you to go forward for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. And we're going to return the favor going the opposite direction, going backwards. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and relax. All right, I'm going to explain the workout. But as I'm explaining, I want you guys to stay loose in your shoulders so you can hold 10 seconds on the right, 10 seconds on the left, or up and down. I just want you to take advantage of every minute in this D25. So today, we have an EMOM for the first section and the section sec second section. But the first section is only 10 minutes. That's it, all right? So in our EMOM, we're going to work every two minutes up to two minutes, which means every minute of the minute, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, and two minutes. We're only going to do two movements. All right? The movements are really simple. You have the front squat and you have the strict press. On your front squat, the standard number is going to be 10, all right? So if you have really light weight and you're just banging it out, control. Remember, time under tension, that's what uh, Daily Sweat is all about, okay? Time under tension for your 10 squats. If the weight's heavy, just take that tempo of one second up, one second down. But after you complete your 10, but if you're on beast mode, I want you to go 14, all right? After you complete your uh, front squats, you're then going to 10 to 14 strict press. After you complete that, for the remainder of the two minutes, you get a rest period. So if it takes you a minute and 30 seconds, you'll get a 30-second break. If it takes you one minute, you'll get a one-minute break. So just for demo purposes, niece, if you can grab your torpedo. So a lot of you guys are rocking the torpedo. I love it. It's the most easiest, simplest piece of equipment out there. I love it. All right. So she goes in a front rack position. Turn laterally for them so they can see you. So 
elbows up. She's leaning that uh, torpedo on her shoulders. Big deep breath every time with a tight stomach. Ass to grass, powering off her heels. That's how your squats will look. Make sure. Notice her tempo is not up, down, up, down, up, down. She's controlling. She's blowing out every single time she stands tall. After she completes her 10, we're going to go into 10 uh, strict press. Same thing. The thing I like to point out on your strict press, notice she's not doing a push jerk or, or push press. Arms, are, uh, legs are locked. I like to focus on my quads being tight and my butt being tight. If you tight booty and tight quads, you cannot use them at all, which means you're going to focus on those shoulders. Thank you, niece. So with that being said, if you're on standard, I want you 10 reps. If you're on beast mode, I want you on 14 reps, all right? So if you have the luxury, maybe you have different torpedoes or you have uh, different dumbbells or kettlebells, you can increase and decrease your uh, weight appropriately. But if not, work with what you have. Other than that, you have any questions? I'm ready. I'm ready. You guys ready? Well, shoot, let's get it on. All right, my clock starts in 13 seconds, 12, 11. Come on, baby, like, get geared up for this thing. 10, 9, you do me a favor. 8, you uh, put that show on there for so they can see it. Here we go. In 5, we got front squats in 4, 3, 2. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. No, you get good. You get good. And 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. One and go. All right, here we go. Clock is starting right now. Shanice is pumped. She did a she did a thrust on you guys. <laughs> All right, guys. So right now we're at the 24 second mark. I want you to control these squats. Shanice, how many are you doing? 10 or 14? I don't know why I act. So she's gonna be doing her 14 reps. Let's go seven. All right. She she was guessing nine right now because she wasn't counting. But we're going to 14, and once you get to 14, you're going to knock out those strict presses. So arms are locked, I mean legs are locked, butt, everything, and she's knocking out her presses. Notice she's doing a great job of poking her head on what I call through the window, okay? So every single time, we're locking out. We're not doing no mini-me presses, all right? So Nice looks really good. Right now, she's at a minute and seven seconds. So that means you got about 50-something seconds until we start our second round. Good. All right, she looks real good. Real good. Perfect. That's 14. So she finished her 14 and 14 in a minute and 20. Ladies and gents, if you're not done in the next six seconds, I want you to take a mandatory break because we still have a lot more rounds to go, okay? So in four seconds, if you're not done, in three seconds, if you're not done, two, one, go ahead and relax. Great job. So. We should have a feel now. Okay, I know what I'm doing. I got it. I got a feel of how much my weight I have in the gym or in your garage or in your living room. So now I think looking at the weight for Shanice, she's rocking a 30 pound torpedo. It's a little light for her. So I'm gonna encourage her just to tempo to two seconds up, two seconds down, and you can follow the same thing if you have light weight. All right, good. So this is the thing with time under tension. Look, you don't have a full fledged gym in your garage potentially some of you might right but i want you to be able to utilize what you have at the crib and that's how you get your daily sweat every day okay you don't need no fancy global gym membership to get success to change your body and to get stronger but you can use what you have and then throughout time obviously you can keep incorporating more things to the crib all right so rep count you're on 14 so some of you guys may be on the pace with shanice some of you may be ahead of her. Some of you may be right behind her. Either or, I'm good with. Look like right now she's on track to probably finish around the minute and 10 to minute and 20 second mark. Good. That's it. Look really good. Remember, we only have five rounds of this first portion. Good, niece. Breathe. Blow that air out. You at home, blow that air out every single time. We're not holding that oxygen, okay? Muscles need the oxygen to grow. Good, she needs that looks good, that looks good. All right, she finished right when I said around the one minute and 10 second mark. So she's gonna get 50 seconds of recovery. I need it all, I need it all. Some of you are still working, which is incredible. Keep pushing, okay? Keep raising that standard, keep getting better. No short corners, don't go a rep less. I want you to keep working. Right now we're at the minute and 28 mark. If you're not done in five seconds, take that mandatory break because you're gonna need the recovery for Three, two, and take that break. All right, everybody looks really, really, really good, okay? So, I like the tempos. 
if you have heavyweight, you're going tempo one, one second down, one second up, one second down, one second up, if you have heavyweight. Because if you have heavyweight, it's going to be times where you're going to sit up and take some breaks. If you have lightweight, we're uh, time under tension the whole time, 1,001, 1,002, 1,001, 1,002. All right? What are we doing? Tempo or front squats? You're going two seconds or one? All right, she's going there. So I'm going to count her down just so you can kind of get a feel of what she's doing. I know she's modeling everything, so don't lose your rep count, niece. But she's going 1,001, 1,002, one up. 1,001, 1,002, one up. So it's kind of a dope way to do it. You don't have to necessarily be two seconds up, two seconds down. You can do two seconds, making it challenging, going down, and then pop up. Totally good with that. Good. Love how she keeps her heels on the ground. She's taking that big, deep breath. She's not rushing through these reps. She's earning every single quadricep muscle. She don't have these quads just because she woke up like that. She has them because she walked forward, okay? All right, niece, you're at 40 seconds. You had a good pace. Shoulders pinched back, tight stomach. She's locking her arms out every single time. Niece, do me a favor. If you turn lateral so, she can, so they can see the form. Yep, good. Notice she's poking her head all the way through. Biceps pretty much hitting that ear every time she locks out. Notice, even if you can't hear, she don't have a mic on, but if you can just look at her lips, she's every single time, every single time. That means she's giving her body an opportunity to get stronger. She's giving her body opportunity to complete these reps, okay? Right now, you have 45 seconds until we start our next round, so a lot of you should be close to finishing up in the next 15 to 20 seconds, okay? Good. Nice just finished hers out. You're on the way, baby, and if you're not done in the next... 10 seconds, I want you to go ahead and take that mandatory break. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, take that break. Hey, you at home, come here, give me a fist pump. Boom, niece, give me some love, boom. Niece wanted to give y'all a fist pump too. All right, in 15 seconds, we're going to start our fourth round out of five. You got a suggestion? You want to tell them anything? Breathe, 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 breathe. That's it. You ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, and let's go. All right, here we go, guys. Don't rush through your reps. It's round four. I know you're thinking like, dang, this is starting to burn. I want to get through this as fast as possible. Look, you said you was going to give me 25 minutes of effort. You said you was going to give me 25 minutes of your best. So I don't want you rushing through them because if you rush through, those are not your best reps. Your best reps is when you challenge yourself. And if you worked out with me before, you know I'm going to say it, and I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it proudly. When there's challenge, there's change. So I need you to challenge yourself today if you want some type of change. Come on, ladies. Come on, fellas. Clock says right now we're approaching that 40-second mark. Good. She needs to look like she just wrapped up those front squats. Big deep breath. Big deep breath. Hey, now, as you're keeping up with knees, she's a good pace partner today. She's your, she's your, she's your ride or die today. I want you to notice that she's taking some breaks, right? She took a break in between the front squats and the strict press. That means she's normal. That means you're normal. So if you take breaks, just limited breaks. I'm not saying that you can't take breaks. I don't want to discourage anybody. If this is your first time working out with us, like, you got this, okay? We'll get better. We'll get stronger. If you've been in the game and it's challenged you in a way you've never been challenged, you cool. You got this. We're going to get through this. All right, next round starts in 40 seconds, all right? You should be finishing up in the next 10 to 20 seconds. Good. Way to work, Ms. Shanice. All right, Nice just finished up. You should be close right behind. Let's give them another seven seconds. If you're not done, take that mandatory break. Here we go. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. You got to sweat. I, I, I think. Daily sweat, right? Hey, it's 365 days in a year. How many days can you get your sweat in is the true question. All right, this is the last round, niece. Family at home, family at the gym. This is your last round. Let's start on time because I know you're going to finish on time. Here we go. Front rack position. She's keeping those elbows nice and high. Whether you have the torpedo or the dumbbells or you're in that front rack goblet position with your kettlebell, keep it up tall. Chest proud, eyes have power. Notice that when she's looking, she's not looking down. She's looking vertically in front of her, or kind of maybe in a 45 degree angle. As the grass powering off those heels. And ladies, fellas, come on. If you're wearing the short shorts like me, fellas, if you're wearing the tights like she needs, if you want the booty, you gotta squeeze the booty. So every time you come up, tight booty, come on, come on. Every time you come up, tight booty, tight stomach, blowing that air out every single time. 
She's right on pace, 40 seconds. She just finished her front squats. Here we go, here we go. Boom, one. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, everybody's rocking it. All right, six reps left, I believe, for Shanice. She's somewhere around there. You guys should be pretty close to being finished. Right now, you have about a minute and, excuse me, not a minute. You have about 30-something seconds left in today's workout. Yep. All right, Shanice is done. And let me correct myself, not in the whole workout. Yeah. <laughs> you had a couple more seconds left in this portion. All right. This <laughs> is how we roll, baby. Is how we roll. All right, here we go. 10 seconds. Good, good, good. And then she. Good. All right, guys. This is it. You should be done. You should be resting. Maybe you're cussing me out. Not sure. If you haven't already, make sure, man. You can comment in the comment section or IG daily sweat underscore three six five. Shanice, one done. One to go. I'll say about sixty percent. So the first EMOM we worked up to ten minutes. The second EMOM we're gonna work up to eight minutes, which means it's gonna be easier, right? We still got two exercises, so it's gonna be a lot easier. All right. So now your blood flow. Your, your heart rate's up. Your my zone was probably in the yellow, reddish, maybe a little bit. Probably more yellow and blue. But uh, the two movements that we have today is simple for the second portion. You're still at 10 to 14 reps. So shoulders are pinched back, tight stomach. We're doing power cleans. So as she hinges the hips going towards the ground, she's going to come quick elbows up tall and keeping that stomach tight, blowing out. Now, do about three more reps. Things that I want to cue you and watch on. I want you stumping your feet. Right now, if you're in an apartment, don't stump it too loud. But if you stump your feet, it helps you get your elbows underneath and you're never rounding your back. Notice she has a big chest the whole time. So you can go ahead and relax because you're going to need it. Whether you're doing um, dumbbells uh, whatnot, uh, make sure if your dumbbells, you're getting still up tall. Uh, kettlebell is a little bit tougher on this movement. But if you do have one, you can do the same thing. You're just going to basically grab it, thumbs inside. And just bring it up like a kind of like a bicep curl. And you just got to control your weight the whole time. All right. So that being said, you're going to start the round off. Three, two, one. In the very first round, you're going to do, again, 10 to 14 reps. Not bad, right? That's it. That's it. That's it. But once you hit your reps in the first round, I need you to get two box jumps. I coach you going forward. But go ahead and grab that torpedo, that dumbbell, or that kettlebell because my clock starts in 15 seconds. Just remember, 10 to 14 reps, and then after you finish, I want you to jump right into your two box jumps or your couch jumps. I guess you can't jump on a coffee table. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and go. So as she's rocking it out, and if you don't have anything to jump on, guys, we'll do knee tucks. Not a big deal. I uh, just want to get that heart rate up and put a little challenge on it. But she needs right now. You're going to go with 10 or 14. She going 14. That was like a setup question. She got to go 14. Because if she coaching y'all, you know she going to push you guys to get to 14. But great uh, full body movement. Like, I love functional movements that you typically would do on a daily basis. Like, I'm not saying get your kids and flip them upside down. But we do take things off the ground and then bring them chest high or chin high. So, Make sure we're not rounding our back when we do that. Making sure we're keeping our stomach tight when we do that. Making sure we're activating our hamstrings and our glutes when we do that. When we do those principles, man, it makes life a lot easier. All right, Shanice should be pretty close. You should be pretty close to your standard 10 or 14. Now all she's going to do is two box jumps. Box jump one, she locks out. Box jump two, she locks out. Again, if you don't have a box or anything to jump on, you can do a knee tuck, and I'm good with that. So. Clock says you have about 50 seconds left if you're done with your knees. If you're still working, work. But I will get you at a mandatory cutoff time in about 15 seconds if you're not done. And then I'm going to explain the goodies for the rest of the round. Okay. You're doing good, knees. She's doing great. Great. All right. Take that mandatory break. All right. So now you have a feel, right, Shanice? For the next four rounds, you know you should be doing 10 or if you should be doing 14. And, and I'm good. If you want to bump it up to 16 or 20, I'm good with that. But I think 14 is the magic number. Now we're on our second round. Now we're doing four box jumps. So every round we're going to go up the ladder. So our fifth and final round, your goal is to do 10 box jumps. So you got to get after it every round. And instead of the numbers going down the ladder, our numbers are going up. So mentally, that's how we get tougher. 
All right, here we go. Going into those power cleans in five seconds. Shoulders pinched back, tight stomach. Control that breathing, baby. Three, two, one, let's go. All right, elbows up. Turn the music up, man. Get the music Oh, I'm feeling good in this thing, Shanice. Shanice feeling herself, feeling herself. All right, <laughs> so as you guys are working with those dumbbells, man, is a really uh, fundamental movement, right? It's kind of like a hammer curl. You never have to rotate your wrist. The torpedo is super dope because it feels like a barbell, but you don't have to bend it back on your wrist. And then the kettlebell, obviously, it's going to be a little bit more challenging for this movement. But, you know, I said it earlier, where there's challenge, there comes change. So Shanice is working. I'm going to continually talk and let you know that right now you just hit the 38-second mark. Good, niece. I know. I know. I know. It's one of those when you see it, it's like, it's not that bad of a workout. And then when you get in, it's like, oh, dang. All right, notice Shanice does a great job, though, locking out. She lands flat on the box, even when she gets on top. Notice her principles of powering off those heels every single time. Good, Shanice, and she's done. So she finished at a minute. Uh, you guys, if you're finished with her or before, great job. Some of you ladies and gents are still working, and if you're not done in the next 15-something seconds, I want you to go ahead and cut it off because you still need that recovery time because our box jumps are steady increasing. So I want to make sure that you're getting correct form and correct reps and not getting sloppy. So if you're not done in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and perfect. I like it. I love it, Shanice. She said two down, three to go, three to go. Oh, no, no, no. It's eight minutes. It's eight minutes. Uh, she won. Oh, man. So we only have to work our way up to eight box jumps. Dang. I hate that. I could have snuck that in. I, we could have we could have told the editor to put it 10 rounds. All right, here we go. 